Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Luke chapter 15, verses 20 and 21. When he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Of all the stories that Jesus told, the parable of the prodigal son is perhaps the most famous. It's a story that takes us to the heart of the good news. Can you think of anything worse than a son asking for his inheritance while his father is still alive? Having secured the money, he then went off and squandered it, ending up completely broke. In his desperation, all he could do was to find a job feeding pigs and for a Jew. You couldn't imagine a worse job because they were banned from eating pork. The people would have listened to Jesus with rapt attention. But they also knew how the story would end. When they heard that the son planned to return home and ask his father for a job, they knew that any self-respecting father would give him a hiding. He'd punish him severely. Everyone could see that's what he deserved. But this father was different. Even though he'd been horribly abused, he threw his arms around his wayward son and welcomed him home. He then gave him the best robe, put a ring on his finger and threw a big party. This is precisely the good news that Jesus came to bring. We have all strayed from God's ways and treated him appallingly. We don't deserve to be loved by God. Punishment will be entirely appropriate, but incredibly, God has chosen to throw his arms around us and welcome us back home. So let me ask you a question. What does this parable say to you personally? And now let me pray with you. Dear Father, thank you that even though we've done so many things that are wrong, you're willing to forgive us and give us a new life. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. Don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a really good day.